I think about it, with the cost of treating allergies for us and for our clients, I mean, think of it, it's, it's multiple exams. It's the secondary skin infections. It's the ear infections. So that's cytology and ear medication. It's the antibiotics. It's the, the steroids or the other newer immunomodulators. I mean, it, it's a lot and it's chronic. I, I've never had been lucky enough to treat a, an allergic, uh, an, an atopic dog once in spring and not have it come back during the summer. So, you know, we're gonna do this, we're gonna see this again. And as we know, oftentimes allergies are chronically progressive. So whatever we have this year, it's gonna be worse next season and then the season after that. So it is a long-term commitment and I, and I think it turns out to be relatively a more expensive commitment than trying to get to the bottom of it, do an allergy test, start treatment. And I think in the long haul, there'll be less time and money spent and a pet that's a lot more comfortable.